It's not going to uh Just a second, we'll go over there. Okay, I gotcha. Got leg, I think you're up. Now we are. Okay, sports fans. Major League Madness here at Panzer HQ. So, we have the rear subframe. 
completely removed from said panzer and what a heavy ass beast of a thing it is. In its place we have our E34 trailing arm uh, system pretty much lined up where we want it to be. And there's a convenient spider crawling along the top of the brake disc there. Um, so we've also got the boot floor chopped out. Plenty of sparks uh, going on there to allow our Tesla drive unit to fit in. Um, we are going to be modifying the uh, mounting here. So to take a little bit of this out to give us more lift. Uh, I'm going to be modifying this chassis leg here to box this in. Uh, we're doing likewise over on the far side. So modifying chassis leg here just to let this uh, sit up a bit more. And we'll be making solid eccentric bushes uh, to go in here so that we can mount to the uh, original um, factory mountings. So that'll be the front mountings done. We're then going to have is a system here. We're going to come off the top of the, the beam and pick up these mountings here. Our Tesla motor is going to be sitting in this area here. And we're going to basically then use, uh, sorry, this mounting here and this mounting here. Uh, again, going back to the beam, I'm going to come all the way back here. We have where the tow bar would normally mount on the back, and we're going to be able to drop down to pick up the rear mounting of the Tesla drive unit. So this is kind of where we're at at the minute. I've still got to get the original motor and gearbox out. I have to get those out pretty soon because they're in fact sold. I need to get them crated up for the chap that's bought them from me. Um, but basically, our track as well is going to be about 20 millimeters less than the original. So we will be putting uh, 20 millimeter wheel spacers on uh, to bring our wheels back out to where they need to be. Uh, but pretty much, this is the Panzer right now. Uh, so we're recreating the rear end um, with our E34 trailing arm beam. And we'll be able to then get our Tesla drive unit uh, to fit in there. So the next job is going to be to sit the Tesla drive unit onto this tray here. And then use this uh, transmission jack to lift it up into place. Uh, so we can basically see how it's all going to fit. I suspect we'll have to cut this lip out here a little bit more and then we can basically put a circular piece in here to seal up uh, the boot floor. Um, so what else? Yeah, so we've been basically making sure that the trailing arms have the right angle because we don't want the car to be, uh, you know, to be trying to fight itself when we're driving along. Uh, so that's kind of important, but we now have a very solid plan as to what we're going to be doing here uh, in terms of making all of this work. Are we working or what are we doing? Okay, we are working. Okay, so this is first trial fitting of the Tesla motor and the E34 rear end into the E31. And uh, we pretty much got it exactly where we want it to be. Uh, we don't have to cut out, I don't think, any more other than the spare wheel well here. And uh, Checking our measurements.
BMW approved method for removing subframe bushes. Uh oh, carbon footprint time. I'd never have, uh, I'd never have known. Alrighty folks, so that's about what we've got for this particular episode. I uh, hope you're enjoying this new series. It's definitely something new for me uh, to have a workshop facility um, and uh, such professional help available to me here um, and uh, it's really making this project possible uh, so big thanks to my friend Dave for uh, taking on this particular madness so anyway um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like um, if you would like to make a financial contribution to this stuff uh, please see links in the description to my PayPal donations email address and my Patreon. Uh, failing that, we will see you in the next video. And um, happy subframe mounting.